Hello, people of planet Earth, or various outer space beings who've managed to hack onto Earth's internet. Yes, I am Doctor Who IV. No, I'm 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 actually just a kid in a bedroom uh, with a camera. But anyway, um, today I'm reviewing a figure that I've had for some time, yet I haven't ever reviewed it. Um, strangely. Um, this is my Morbius figure from the 1976 story The Brain of Morbius uh, with Tom Baker as the Doctor um, and this is basically the creature that they are fighting against you know, you've got the Doctor, some kind of companion go to some obscure planet, meet a monster, fight it, kill it, go back home basically that's the storyline um, if you haven't noticed already um, and this is the Morbius creature, um, and this review probably won't be that exciting or of any use to many people, seeing as either you've already got it, or um, you've watched other reviews, Batman March, you know, everyone watches his reviews, um, and he reviews them better than me. Uh, so basically I'm just reviewing it for a bit of fun and to pass some time. Anyway, let's quickly move on to the articulation. You've got 360 at the shoulders. Um, you haven't got any head movement, as there is no head movement in the story. You've got sort of hip movement here. You haven't got any waist movement, but there isn't there isn't any waist movement at all. You've got movement at the thighs um, and movement at the knees, and that's it. Um, except there is movement, oh yeah, there's movement at the biceps there's on both arms um, I have tried moving this arm here but um, it doesn't, that one doesn't seem to move uh, however there is a bit of claw movement going on here um, and that's really it for the articulation I mean it's a bit limiting but when you actually think about it um, the actual creature itself never moves very much so why you'd want it to move you know with its head twisting all the way around I don't know uh, so what this figure is really really good at is the detail um, now basically you've got your basic sort of head that they've done it's a sort of a see-through, the light's not very good it's a see-through plastic thing and you've got a purpley coloured brain in the middle with very very nice details on that then you've got bits of plastic sticking out here and wires around the back and there's like nice detailing inside here you know isn't, they haven't just rushed that which is really really nice uh, the only downside to the head I'd say is the way that they haven't spent much detail on the eyes you know often there's you know bits of grating the thing there I'm a bit. Um, you can occasionally see on the um, episode, in the episode. Um, so then, moving further down, you've got this sort of furry, scarry monster thing, which is rather interesting. The detailing on the stitches and the various wires and things is amazing. Um, they've really, really, I mean, it's a completely obscure sculpt. It's like the um, werewolf. The, from 2006, it's that kind of thing where there's no other thing that they could use as a base. Um, so it's a completely new sculpt and they've done it very very well, they haven't just sort of rushed it. I mean you've even got bits of muscle and things ripped off the fur and just sort of splattered on. Um, and that's all over, really. Um, and then you've got things like, well it's obviously a, it's a sort of a medium shade brown you've got um, then darker brown sort of being brushed over with a dry brush so up here it's a lot darker around the back you know and around the feet it's darker around here they've dry brushed on there it's nice um, then you've got extra bits which have been extra bits that have moulded on and they use the fur thing, furry bits which is very nice um, these are bits of sort of the latexy rubbery stuff that they use for um, 
you know, coat the coats of figures and the jackets of figures and the skirt of a figure or something. Um, basically, that is the same material. And again, they've sort of dry brushed browny, beigey grey over the top of that, which is really good. And even down the back, this is an actual separate piece which is probably slotted in here um, and then sort of moulded in around there. Um, and it gives a really, really nice effect. Um, so, and they've even sort of painted in bits. You know, the, the detail is pretty much exact. And then, of course, all you've got that hinders what it, the realisticness of it is the articulation lines. But, you know, you want the articulation, don't you? Um, and they've even, you know, put in all this sort of layered effect on the um, claw as well. So the claw... The claw, the claw moves quite a lot um, for the claw. Um, it's the I think the only downside to this figure was when I opened it, I thought, "Er, isn't that a just a tad pale for the Morbius creature?" And I think it I think it is a tad pale. Um, but of course everyone's will be a slightly different shade, I'd have thought. Um, also, this might be the actual shade. Of course, in the program, you only see it really in darkness, um, under very, very dark lighting conditions in the studio. So it probably is this shade, and then if you put it in dark light, it looks like... Um, the figure in the brain of Morbius. Um, so that's, I think, the only downside to that. Um, the yeah, just I'm pretty amazed at the amount of detail they've put into this figure. They could have just basically made the basic shape and painted it brown, which. Um, especially recently, character options have been doing that. They've been making a basic shape and then just painting it the wrong colours. Um, let's not be mentioning the uh, Sontaran experiment set with the Fourth Doctor. Um, but yeah, so the detail is pretty good. Um, the articulation is very good and pretty, you know pretty tactile as well so thanks for watching um, I hope you've enjoyed this review um, I hope you enjoy the figure if you get it um, I hope in some way it's been helpful and you haven't just sat here for ooh, more than eight minutes just you know wa watching some weird review of a figure that you already have so, thanks for watching, keep watching, and bye-bye.